Good morning, first graders. It's so good to see you. Well, I can't see you, but you can see me. It's kind of the same. Um, anyway, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And let's get right into our new words this week. Okay, so our first one is second. S-E-C-O-N-D, second. And a sentence that you might use for the word second, and I'll hold the pictures nice and close today. Um, the boy is trying to tie his second sneaker. So not his first sneaker, but his second sneaker. Okay. The second word is ball. B-A-L-L, -L, ball. She practiced until she could hit the ball well. Sorry. There you go. And the next one is across. A C R O S S across. The runners dashed across the finish line. So that means they passed it, right? They went across it. The next word is head. H E A D. He hit the ball with his head to make a goal in soccer, right? And then the next word is herd. This one kind of looks like the word head, but there's an R in between the A and the D. So it's H-E-A-R-D, herd. The children heard clapping at the end. So at the end of a performance or a movie or something, you might hear clapping. So they heard clapping. Okay. The next one is large. L-A-R-G-E. And the sentence is, it was not too hard to ride up the large hill. The next word is cried. C-R-I-E-D, cried. And the sentence is, we can do it, cried the team. So this kind of cry, the sentence there, that's not talking about like sad crying. That's like they screamed, we could do it, right? So cried can mean like screamed out, or it can also mean I cried tears, okay? So there's two different meanings for the word cried. And the last word this week is should, S-H-O-U-L-D, should. And the sentence is, the teacher said that she should try again, right? So another way you could use the word should might be, I should do my homework or my schoolwork before I go out and play. So should is like something that you should do. Right? Okay, those are all of our words this week. So I want you to practice them and do your word work and write in your journal. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on Zoom this week. And I hope that you are having a great time with your family at home. And I miss you very, very much. So have a good week and I'll see you next time. Bye.